Okay, hello everyone. This is how to shoot the moon part now, one. The settings I'm using are obviously going to be different to anything you're using, because obviously different times of day will mean different settings. But the ones I'm using at the moment is ISO 100, f5.6, and 1 over 400th of a second. Right. Now, what you want to do is wait, let me just let this van go past. Alright, so what you want to do is take off any UV filter that you've got on your lens. Because a UV filter pretty much means that you'll get all the flare from the sun, all the light that's reflecting off it, and pretty much you'll end up with a photo looking like that. And this is one of the photos I got earlier. Now, as you can see, there's a major difference between that. So, what you're going to want to do is, I'm just going to detach my camera quickly. Right. So you can see, I've got a tripod set up. I'm just in a field at the moment. This is in Dorchester. I've got all my equipment in that bag. I've got an 18 to 55 a 20 something to 105 and at the moment I'm using my 75 to 300. 75 to 300 is what you'll need to get close enough to catch that North Star right there. Okay, so pretty much you're gonna have to have this mounted on a tripod. Because if you're trying to as you can see, if you're getting in very close, it's very hard to keep it still. Now, some people may, let me just put this back on the tripod. Some people may like the fact that the clouds are partially going over the moon tonight. Me, to be honest, I've waited till it's a bit clearer so that I can get a very nice picture of the moon just by itself. Um, this is one of the pictures I took the other night with the clouds going across. I used a longer exposure to get Right, so that's that and I'm just going to take a few test shots so I'm just going to stop this video Alright, this I just found is the movie crop mode 75 to 300 millimeters you can actually see the craters in the moon now, let me just try and get this a bit better. There we go, a bit. Now, this is an amazing shot, but you can only use the crop mode on video. You cannot do this with a picture. But, obviously you can take screenshots of this, you can do whatever to make it an image. Um, one of the things I like to do is take this onto Adobe After Effects and then render it out as a JPEG image sequence and what that will pretty much do is take the whole video and turn it into a series of JPEG photos. Now I will show you what it's like the difference between a 75 to 300 and say a 20 whatever I've got to 105. Okay so I've now changed to the 28 to 105 um, we now do have a bit of clouds going over it, but for the purpose of this tutorial, that is fine. Um, as you can see, it's not as magnified as the 78 to 300, no, 75 to 300, as you would have guessed. But still, it's a pretty good image. If you have the just stop lens, the 18 to 55, you won't be able to get really anything close to this. Sorry. I'm talking it keeps coming out of focus. Um, just one of the things you need to remember, there's a dog running past, one of the things you need to remember is that you have to have it on manual mode because say you've got it on aperture priority mode, you can dial in some of the settings but the rest of it is going to just assume what you want to take and it'll probably give you a really, really bad image. 
uh, it's dragging on a bit, so I'm just going to try and finish this. You don't want it to be on autofocus. I'm going to switch this to autofocus so you can see what happens. Right, it's on auto. And that's what happened. I'm now going to change it back to manual and focus this myself. There we go. And you can still see the craters in the moon which you couldn't see well before when it's completely zoomed out. Okay that's the end of this tutorial. I'll leave you a short slideshow of the photos I got from this night. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, favourite, do whatever. Thanks.